recording hello dear students this is your engineering mathematics 3 lecture today's topic is poisson distribution this topic is from fourth unit probability and probability distributions in previous lecture we have discussed binomial distribution now poisson distribution what is poisson distribution when p be the probability of success and it is very small and the number of trials n small n is very large and n into p this product is finite then the distribution is called poisson distribution see what is the condition for poisson distribution poisson distribution means poisson probability it is a probability distribution when p the probability of success is a very small value and the number of trials n this value is very large and the product n into p is finite then the distribution is called poisson distribution the probability of r successes in a series of large number of trials n with p the probability of success at each trial then the small number is given by a small number that probability of success at each trial is a small number then the probability distribution that is poisson distribution is given by p of r is equal to e raised to minus z into z raised to r upon r factorial so this is the formula of probability distribution p of r is equal to e raised to minus z z into z raised to r upon r factorial c that uh, what is z z is equal to mean and the formula for mean is n into p n is number of trials and p is the probability of success so this is the formula of uh, mean of poisson distribution and that the value z is means the mean is used here in the uh, formula of poisson distribution and variance of poisson distribution it is given by sigma square it is equal to n into p into q when n is number of trials p is probability of success and q is probability of failure okay so here is the formula of probability distribution uh, sorry mean of poisson distribution and variance of poisson distribution now the example a manufacturer of cotton pins knows that 2% of his product is defective if he sells cotton pins in a boxes of 100 pins and guarantees that not more than 5 pins will be defective in a box find the approximate probability that a box will fail to meet the guaranteed quality See, what is the example here a manufacturer of cotton pins knows that 2% of his product is defective means this is the standard probability of the product of manufacturer that 2% of his product is defective okay means this is the this is your success probability of success 2% this is the guarantee of the manufacturer means standard probability of his product if he sells cotton pins in a boxes of 100 pins and guarantees that not more than 5 pins will be defective in a box see what is the guarantee if the manufacturer sells quarter pins in a boxes of 100 pins means suppose the box is of 100 pins and the manufacturer guarantees that not more than 5 pins will be defective in a box then find the approximate probability that a box will fail to meet the guaranteed quality now here n is equal to 100 the number of uh, pins in a box is 100 so n is 100 now p with the probability of defective pins in a box see what is the standard probability uh, uh, by given by the manufacturer 2% means p is equal to per 2% means 2 upon 100 so if we uh, simplify it the value is 0.02 so this is the probability of success means the probability standard probability given by the manufacturer and now here the value of n is 100 it is a large value and p probability is equal to 0.02 it is a very small value so we are going to use here poisson distribution see in example only in the example is given in words here it is not mentioned that you find the probability by using binomial distribution or poisson distribution you have to decide how to find the probability whether you 
use Poisson distribution or binomial distribution. But the condition for Poisson distribution is that if the value of n is large and probability is very small value, then in that case, we use Poisson distribution. So here the value of P probability distribution is a very small value, 0 0.02, and N is a very large value, 100. So we are going to use here Poisson distribution. Now to use the Poisson distribution, we want mean, mean of Poisson distribution, and the formula is N into P. And the notation for mean is Z. So Z is equal to N into P. So see, what is N? N number of trials is 100. Notice P probability is 0 0.02. Now, you calculate the value of z and it is equal to 2. 100 into 0 0.02 is 2. So z is equal to 2. Mean is 2. Since p is very small, probability is very small. So we are using a Poisson distribution. See what is the formula of Poisson distribution? P of r is equal to e raised to minus z into z raised to r upon r factorial. Now you know the value of z. Z is mean. It is 2. e raised to minus 2. 2 raised to r upon r factorial after putting the value of z 2. Now see what is our aim? What is the guarantee of the manufacturer? The guarantee he the manufacturer sells quarter pins in a boxes of 100 pins and guarantees that not more than five in, five pins will be defective in a box. So first you find the probability of a box not more than five pins will be defective. Not more than five means the defective pins may be equal to five or less than five. So the condition is probability of R less than or equal to five. So we are interested in the probability of R less than or equal to five. R less than or equal to five means you start from zero, zero, one, two, three, four, up to five. Now we can write this term in the form of summation because we are going to add that uh, six term of R, uh, r is equal to from r is equal to 0 to r is equal to 5 so we can uh, write the term in the form of summation also summation e raised to minus z this is the simplified term of Poisson distribution e raised to minus 2 into 2 raised to r upon r factorial and r varies from 0 to 5 because r is less than or equal to 5 so we are going to start from 0 up to 5 so this is the probability uh, box question distribution now probability that a box see what is our aim this is the guarantee of uh, manufacturer that not more than five pins will be defective in a box now what find the approximate probability that a box will fail to meet the guaranteed quality we are interested in the probability that the box will fail to meet the guaranteed quality what is the guarantee that not more than five pins will be defective this is the guarantee and we are going to find the probability that the box will fail to meet the guarantee quality means here we are interested in the probability that a box will fail to meet the guaranteed quality what is the guarantee this previous step is the guarantee that probability of a box not more than five pins will be defective this is the probability of guarantee now the manufacturer fail to meet the guaranteed quality means the the manufacturer is not satisfying this condition that five pins not more than five pins will be defective so if we uh, are interested in the probability that five uh, that manufacturer will fail to meet the guaranteed quality then it is equal to probability of r greater than five strictly greater than five so you start from six up from 6 to the value of n is 100. So you start from 6 up to 100. So it is not possible to find the probability of every term from 6. R is equal to 6, R is equal to 7, 8, 19, up to 100. So best way, uh, the probability of R greater than 5, it is equal to 1 minus probability of R less than or equal to 5. And probability of R less than or equal to 5 is here in previous step. It is summation e raised to minus 2 into 2 raised to r upon r factorial. r varies from 0 to 5. So you subtract this term from 1 so that you will get that the probability of a box will fail to meet the guaranteed quality. Simplify it. Using calculator, you can simplify the term and calculate the value of every term. That e raised to minus 2 is constant. So you can write outside the summation. r is varying from 0 to 5. 2 raised to r upon r factorial. 
So it is one minus it is two minus two bracket. Two raised to zero upon zero factorial plus four raised to one upon one factorial up to two raised to five upon five factorial and so on. So you simplify it, and the probability of r greater than five is zero point zero one six five. So this is your answer. Means the probability that a box will fail to meet the guaranteed quality. This is your answer. Okay. Here, the first example is over here. Second example is here. In a certain factory running, in a certain factory turning out razor blades. There is a small chance of one by five hundred for any blade to be defective. The blades are supplied in a packet of ten. Use Poisson distribution to calculate the approximate number of packets containing no defective and two defective blades in a consignment of ten thousand packets. See the standard pro probability of a standard probability of a defective blade is given. It is equal to one by five hundred. So here. In solution, we can say here p is equal to one by five hundred. If we calculate the value, it is zero point zero zero two. And in a certain factory turning out razor blades, there is a small chance of one by five hundred for any blade to be defective. The blades are supplied in a packet of ten. It means that the value of n is here ten. Use Poisson distribution to calculate the approximate number of packets containing no defective. No defective means r is equal to zero. So, how to calculate? We have to use here Poisson distribution. It is already mentioned in the example. If it is not mentioned, in that case also uh, we will use Poisson distribution because the value of p is a very small value. It is nearer to zero, zero point zero zero two. So, in that case, we use Poisson distribution. After finding the value of p and n, now here uh, the mean z notation for mean is z. It is equal to n into p. And so, if we do the multiplication, it is equal to zero point zero two. So, because we want this value of mean to find the probability using Poisson distribution. Now, the probability of a packet containing no defective blood, because our first aim is you find the probability, use Poisson distribution to calculate the approximate number of packets containing no defective blades, and then two defective blades. No defective blades means the value of R is equal to zero. Using Poisson distribution, you find the value here. See, no defective means r is equal to zero. Now, see what is the formula of Poisson distribution? E raised to minus z. Z is here, zero point zero two into z raised to r. Z is here, zero point zero two raised to r. R is zero. The value of r is zero upon r factorial. R factorial means zero factor. Now, simplify this term. And its probability is nothing but zero point nine eight zero two zero point nine eight zero two. And now we want the number of packets containing no defective blades in a consignment of ten thousand packets. So ten thousand into one upon e raised to zero point zero two. Or here you can write the value of this probability zero point nine eight zero two. If we do the calculation, it is nine eight zero two. So these are the number of packets. In a consignment of ten thousand packets containing no defective blades. Now, second aim in the same example is that you find calculate the approximate number of packets containing two defective blades. Two defective blades means r is equal to two. Means you find the probability of packet containing two defective blades. Means r is equal to two. Again, use the Poisson distribution. E raised to minus z, z raised to r upon r factorial. Z is zero point zero two and R is two factor two. So in denominator the term is two factorial. Z raised to R in numerator. Z is zero point zero two to the power R. R is two. So to the power two. Zero point zero two to the power two. Uh, simplify or calculate the value uh, using calculator. You will get your answer zero point triple zero one nine six. This is your answer. The probability of a packet containing two defective blades. Now we want the number of packets containing two defective blades in a consignment of ten thousand packets. So multiply that uh, probability of a packet containing two defective blades by ten thousand and simplify it. So it is equal to one point ninety six. 
1.96 means approximately two. So there are only two packets containing two defective blades in a consignment of 10,000 packets. So this is the example of the Poisson distribution. Here, this session is over. Thank you.